Well, he was hit by a train and survived. Tonight, Rapid City Police are trying to figure out what led up to it and why it happened. Kelloland's Al Van Z caught up with police who say the incident is another reminder to everyone to keep safety in mind when you're on the tracks. The track involved is one which diverges to the north from the main railroad line running east and west through Rapid City's downtown. Police believe the man got caught in a situation he couldn't get out of as he crossed the railroad bridge on foot. That's not a pedestrian bridge and shouldn't be used like that. Um, if you're taking a chance, you're going to get halfway off across the bridge and then a train comes and then are you going to jump off the bridge or, or take your chances with the train? It's a dangerous situation. Police say there were other elements involved as well. He was intoxicated and so um, we're guessing that was a, a major factor in this accident. And there's another factor involved that amounts to a bad habit for some area residents. People often walk the tracks to get from the north side to the downtown because it cuts diagonally across the neighborhoods and it's the one place where you can cross the creek in this area. Police emphasize that walking the tracks is a very bad idea. The railroad, which owns the track property, has no trespassing signs at specific places along the tracks. People have to regularly cross the tracks to get from one place to another, of course, but using them as a footpath is dangerous. And in this case, the railroad bridge was marked as a no trespassing zone. In Rapid City, Al Van Z, Kelloland News. Rapid City police say the penalty for trespassing on railroad tracks is up to 30 days in jail or a $500 fine.